Japanese promoters have flown over from Philadelphia in the United States. Michael Buffer will deliver the pre-fight introductions. This, of course, is the Japanese ring announcer who is providing initial instructions for Japanese fans here as to the principles in the ring. And now, Michael Buffer takes over the mic. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Konishiwa! Good afternoon. This championship belt is a presentation of Taking Boxing Promotions, President Akiko Honda. It is sanctioned by the Japan Boxing Commission, Commissioner Makoto Hosaka, and the World Boxing Council, President Jose Suleiman. The World Boxing Association is represented by Championship Committee Chairman, Dr. Elias M. Cordova, Jr. The ringside supervisor is Gabriel Peña Garicano. He's the WBC General Counsel. The three judges are Larry Rosadilla of the United States, Masakutsu Yuchida of Japan, and Ken Morita of Japan. And working for the 78th time in a world title bout is the referee Arthur Mercanti of the United States. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to all the millions and millions of boxing fans watching around the world, welcome to the Tokyo Dome. The Big A, right here in one of the greatest cities in the world, Tokyo, Japan! I would like to introduce in, this, in the ring at this time, a man known as one of the premier promoters in the world of boxing, Mr. Don King. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He's wearing his boxing trunks and weighing 238 and one quarter pounds with a professional record of 24 victories, 15 by knockout, and only one defeat from Cincinnati, Ohio. He is the second ranked heavyweight in the world and a former heavyweight champion, ladies and gentlemen, the challenger, Tony TNT. Fighting out of the red corner, wearing the solid black trunks and weighing 216 and one quarter pounds from Catskill, New York, which is the hometown of the late great trainer of champions, Customato. He brings a professional record of 33 victories without a loss, 29 KOs, including 25 KOs in five rounds or less and 15 in the first round alone. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the undisputed the undefeated heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson! Mike and Tony, you both received instructions earlier in the day, and therefore you know the rules. I wish you both an off at all luck now. Return to your corners to await the starting bell. Good luck. That's Arthur McCanty doing his sixth heavyweight championship fight, his 78th world championship fight. Tubbs says he knows how to fight. The champion, everyone says it. It's a little bit more difficult to pull it off. Let's see if he really wants to rumble as he says he does. I see Mike Tyson iron the uh, belly, the bed section mm -hmm. of Tony Tubbs, so look for him to jump right on in the first round. Okay, we're all set. All set. Go. Mercanti says they're all set, and there's the bell for round one. Tubbs throws the jab, and Tyson responds in time. Oh, you're right, Greg. A lot of fighters find it difficult to uh, set Mike Tyson up because Mike now gives a lot of uh, head movement. All right, break! I say break, up, break! One of the big...
big questions has been whether Tubbs would clinch and grab and simply try to survive with Tyson, as did Bone Crusher Smith and Mitch Green. For now, it does not look that way. Well, Tubbs stated that he would just exchange punches with uh, Tyson because the best way he felt to beat him was to be inside, throw short punches, combinations. And here he selected to do that. I don't necessarily agree with that, Jim, because what happens, Tyson, with his shorter arms and upper body strength, is able to uh, do a great deal of damage to the midsection of his opponent. Watch for the left hook by Mike Tyson. Tubbs trying to go downstairs to Tyson's body. You see the left jab of Mike Tyson. He's starting to use it more consistently now. He found, he found out that it gets a man into punching range. And you can begin to see the startling hand quickness that Tubbs brings. Startling partially because of the shape of his body. Well, here with Tubbs, the uppercut. I also know the uppercut of Mike Tyson. He's able to throw it, throw the same punch twice, and then over. Tyson missed with the left hook. Earlier, he had landed a wicked right to the killer kidney. Look for a looping right hand by Mike Tyson, because that's the punch I see that uh, Tubbs is vulnerable to. He keeps dropping that left hand. One minute to go in round one. Tubbs landed a left and ducked away effectively. What Tubbs needs to be doing now, he needs to throw two and three jabs to kind of break the rhythm of Mike. Because what's happened, Tyson's starting to set up. You need to break that rhythm with a jab. Tubbs throwing the uppercut. A lot of people think he will have to be effective with that punch because Tyson comes in constantly. Well, Tyson also lunged him with an overhand right there, and that's one of the mistakes he makes. Ten seconds to go in round one. 